it's not cool to try to bully kids in being afraid to speak to you no no that's a no no for me because yeah. one of my classmates when i was before school and online mm. when they asked their mother a question used to be like no and get angry at them for no reason yeah and that's not cool and that makes you sad and scared to talk to them about anything yeah so like most things that happen around you like somebody to talk to mm. but depending on how your parents would react when you say it or how they would behave when mm -hmm. you say it you just be like no i cannot guys welcome back to my channel life of a caribbean nurse and today i'm here with my little friend kalia slash little niece anyways she says she wants to be on my channel and we're just going to do a bit of talk on our mini vacation guys you know the other day i was thinking about this i was planning to like me maybe like um uh, a little skit where we do confidence because i realized that in this world um from before we even sometimes even understand our know ourselves fully, there are people trying to decrease our confidence. There are people trying to tell us that we can't, what we can or cannot do. There are people telling us how we're supposed to walk, or we're supposed to smile, or we're supposed to do every single thing. And I kind of feel like that's unfair. Mm -hmm. So, Miss Emmy, I'm going to talk from, I want to get it from, uh, smaller child perspective you know and kelly just answer your question i mean you don't have to pick up nothing nobody just tell me what you think right um because the other day you know since starting this journey you're going to realize as a youtuber you have realized that there's no one video that i'll put out that everybody will like and that's just the truth about it because every individual is different so their perception on what is great will always be different right and what I like might not be what you like and stuff like that because I like octopus. I eat octopus. Do you eat octopus? No, that's disgusting. Yeah, so it disgusting to her, but I think it's really nice. And squids, like the baby cousin, like the cousin to octopus. Do you eat squids? No. Exactly. So it's disgusting to her, but I love it. I think it's no, delicious. I eat is shrimp. So she only eats shrimp. I eat shrimp. I eat lasta. I eat everything. I have to enjoy lobster too. All right, good. So Kelly, um, how important do you think it is to be confident with who you are? I think it's important to be confident with. They got cut out that bit, right? That's fine. Let us talk. Don't say anything you feel. <laughs> anything you feel. Hmm? You know, every time I'm nervous, I just eat you know, to stop playing with my ear or my mask. That's fine. Just talk. I think it is to be confident in yourself. No, seriously. Uh, so, why do you think it's important to be confident in yourself? I think it's important to be confident in yourself is to believe in, believe in yourself and don't let anyone change you from the person you are. Yeah, but we feel like what do you like? What do you think confident does for us? Because I personally, I feel like when you're confident in yourself as an individual, you know, when people come and they tell you all kind of stuff like you can't do it or you look like you're like you like you are not the one that's supposed to do it. Because you know, sometimes there are positions that you will acquire in life. You know, for instance, like you know, you're going to school. You may get the position of being like a um, a prefect. And all of a sudden, now they feel like, say, you weren't the one that's supposed to get it and you're not doing a good job. And then people tell you all kind of stuff to the extent where you start feeling like you maybe need to give this position up. So I feel like being confident in yourself, it helps you to, when others do not feel confident in, the, in you, it helps you to basically maintain your cool. It's all right, they don't feel like you can do it, but because I know that I can do it because that's yeah, confidence. That proves them wrong. Yeah, and do your stuff. That's important. And I realize that other people, people out there, I walk a try much of people confidence. Like, what do you want to say to those individual out there? You know, as a little girl, you know, you know, going slowly into teenage years. You know, did they yet? You still a baby. But what would you like to say to kids out there? 
You want to tell him, say. If, like, a person wants to change you or tell you you can't do something, I think the best thing to do is prove them wrong, and in the end, when you come out being the best, they will be there looking at all those things I said. They didn't mean anything to you. So I think the best to do is just prove them wrong. Yeah. And remember, from an adult point of view, remember, bullying does not stop when you become an adult. Bullying continues because hurting people hurt others meaning some people have got treated in life some people have been hurt by other individuals and they walk around trying to hurt you too the sun is very hot they walk around trying to hurt you just as much as they were um hurt by somebody else and they don't realize that they're continuing a train that need out their pain on somebody else. exactly like stop taking your pain out on someone that did not do you anything and there are a lot of individuals like that, so they have been hurt. And they just feel like, say, all right, me go through it, so somebody else need to feel it too. And that's very unfair, because I didn't cause you any pain. I know, why are you doing this? What, what did I do to deserve this? So guys, listen, maintain your cool, remember who you are. Do not allow anybody that confidence has been snapped from them by either somebody in their past are by themselves because some people just are natural not confident yeah Be like multiple people mm -hmm. like i said i don't look pretty enough and then you change and change trying to fit in with others mm -hmm. yeah so first time you doubt your confidence in yourself mm -hmm. because if you're like oh i want makeup and you want this and you want that mm -hmm. you just doubt your confidence that you won't look pretty enough exactly and we're not all the same we have our individual individual qualities we have our differences you know so there's no one look to beauty you know and when we can when comparison is like a killer so when we're constantly comparing ourselves to others you know expecting that our beauty will match up to theirs and that's a bit unfair because you know and true beauty comes from the inside oh my god say that again and true beauty comes from the inside, not the outside. And you're all old? Ten. Tell him again. Ten. True beauty comes from the inside and not the outside. Because by the grace of God, when we all get old in the name of Jesus, I hope we will, you know, we're going to wrinkle and shrivel up, right? Our skin will not be tight. The very same breast where we do so many surgeries sometimes, we make it reach up our neck. It will be down our tummy, you know that, right? One day, breast yeah. of tummy. <laughs> but seriously, though, the very same breast and stuff that we take so many time or spend so much time, I try make perfect. perfect, very good. It will not be perfect because guess what? Age changes the body, you know. A lot of things change us, baby. Every single thing, a lot of things change our body. So let's be who you are, right? Mm -hmm. What else did I want to say to you? Um, we come and just let me. Kaylee as a YouTube. Tell her what. Tell him what a YouTube video. Um, YouTube channel name is. Infamous Kiki. So it's called the Infamous Kiki. I'll leave. Um, I'll leave a link in my description so you guys can go and check her out. She just started, by the way, right? And I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that your channel will be used to you know positively influence others you know positive aid towards growth of young kids too because you know young kids are very big on youtube and videos you know so i pray that your channel will be used to do that um to be a blessing to many more you are such a smart child and i pray that as you get older those persons that have been bullied those individuals that will be going through bully because it happens that's a that's a sad part that you will remember always that guess what no care what them say about you no care what they tell you that you cannot do you can do it right remember and that all the time you will be you will be feeling confident because confidence is is just like a person's mood sometimes you'll feel confident and the next time you might not be feeling confident so and that's just how it is so no matter what mood you're in, I, you know, I just pray that when you are relaxed, you'll remember again that guess what? I did not feel confident like maybe five minutes ago, but guess what? I got this. Did you say they got this speech? What? I got this speech. 
See, I got this speech. Like, when you feel like I can't do something, you're like, I got this. Yeah, most of the time I just take like a few deep breaths in mm -hmm. and out and calm my head. So what's it and like? I try to find inner peace and try to clear my thoughts. So how do you find inner peace? Oh no, just relaxing and like try to take out any bad things in your head and just try to clear it and make your mind free. So how do you clear it? Like what do you think about? Do you listen to music? Try to think about nothing. Just clear your head of all the thoughts you have. I want to learn that. I'm always thinking. I never think about trying to think about nothing. I might need to learn that. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Um, so what advice would you want to give to young kids? Because I, I've realized that a lot of kids struggling, young teenagers struggling too. You know, with feeling like they don't belong, feeling like they're not loved by their parents, even when they are. You know, hormones, you know, growing up makes you feel after a while like... Because most times your parents talk and say, Oh, no, I don't like that. So you just get angry. Mm -hmm. And what? Where feel cause it? Where feel like kids after a while start feeling like they don't belong? Most times when you feel like you don't belong, I think you just need to believe in yourself. And that will happen. Yeah. Because I remember when I was um, a teenager, you know i went through my phase where i felt like i was alone and mark you know i was far from alone because i also felt like i got too much attention that's weird right <laughs> but <laughs> i still felt alone you know and i always prayed to get like a smaller sibling so my parents wouldn't be asking me all these questions all the time what i want to do where i want to go when i get big and what's for them which were just trying to be positive parents they were they you know but you know, you reach your teenage phase, you feel like you know nobody but then you ask no other question all the time. You just want to be an adult. Yeah, too much question just annoy you. Yeah! Like that happens to me multiple times. Mm -hmm. like, like I'm asked, Kelly, can you do this? Can you do that? And sometimes I get so angry for no reason. Yeah. So what do you think they need to do when they get angry like that for no reason? Just again calm. Calm down and just say it will be over soon. Oh, will it be <laughs> over soon? <laughs> oh, will just it be over soon? That only, I only have this to do. Then when I finish this, I can go do whatever I want. Well, yeah. Because I know you, you spend quite a time being a child. So, <laughs> you know, it will not be over soon, soon. But I know I get that feeling, you know. And sometimes you just feel like, when you do that, you just feel like, yeah, I want to become an adult so I can boss someone around too. Yeah, and what, that's where the cycle continues. Like when you get somebody to boss around, you know, and they'll be feeling the same way. And they might start saying to themselves, you know, when I um, get somebody big, I'm going to boss them around the same. And the cycle continues. So maybe what you could do is um, say, all right. I'm going to do this and that and you say grandma after I do this will I get a time to um, just relax is that okay parents listen your child is free to ask you whatever question he or she wants to it's just oh just you just need to choose how you respond because they are humans and they have the right to ask questions just the same so do not try to bully them into being afraid to talk to you that's not cool it's not cool to try to bully kids in being afraid to speak to you no, no, that's a no, no for me. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, same. Stop, don't bully them. Stop bullying the kids, man. Because I have some friends that are very rough. And when you ask them even the politest questions, they always answer with a frown. Because yeah. one of my classmates, when I was before school and online, mm. when they asked their mother a question, they used to be like, no, and get angry at them for no reason. Yeah, and that's not cool. And that makes you sad. And scared to talk to them about anything. Yeah. So like most things that happen around you, like somebody to talk to. Mm. But depending on how your parents really would react when you say it, or how they would behave when mm -hmm. you say it, you just be like, you know, I cannot. And that's very bad. Just talking about this makes me feel a bit kind of sad too because this is so true. Like, you bully your own kids. Why are you bullying your kids? Like, don't make them afraid to talk to you. Then come and then say, Mommy, you know. Awa. Seriously. I remember, me can't bother, right? Everybody's like, No, don't do that. They need persons to talk to. 
And if you're not um, an individual that they can talk to, what do you expect? Who do you expect them to talk to? And when stuff happens to them, they will not be sharing with you. And if they're not sharing with you, a lot of things will go unnoticed. A lot of things will go unknown and you will not be knowing or know what's going on with your child. And so that's bad. A recommendation for the parents is have a close relationship with them. Exactly. Tell them, Kaylee. It's so important to have a close relationship with your child. You know, I am I you know, I am a nurse. And sometimes I see so many young kids come in and you know, when you look at them there's so many there's so much sorrow. It pains my heart. It's so hurtful to watch and then when you want some of these parents coming around them and how they interact with these kids, it's, you know, it's so heart rending, you know, and then they come and they try to reach out when these kids feel like, I have been trying to reach out for so long and you have not been actually listening to me. You have not been paying me any attention and I really just don't want to talk to you now, even though kids listen. Not because you're reaching out to mommy, daddy, and they're not listening to you, Please don't feel like when they're actually trying to talk to you, don't you're not going to talk to them because you were trying before. We cannot, we cannot continue with a, we don't call it no, with a consistent um, trend of bitterness or a consistent trend of sorrow where my mommy was not talking to me when I wanted to listen or when I wanted her to talk to me. Now, when you want to talk to me and find out what I'm going, it's going on with me. I'm not going to be talking to you. Do not do that, right? So, mommy wasn't talking to you before, that's fine, and I know it gets you sad, but know that mommy wants to talk, or daddy wants to talk to you to see what's going on, you know, actually give them a listening ear so you can know what's going on, or see, um, make mommy know what's going on with you, because there are a lot of persons that have been, you know, abused in many ways, physically, emotionally, mentally, going through different level of abuse, and because initially when they wanted to speak, you know there was no avenue or there was no listening ears so they decided to start being angry for no reason they decided to start being withdrawn not talking to not even their closest friend not having friends and stuff like that so listen to them and, and also if the parents don't care with how much rubbish or stupid things their child has to say listen to them because there comes a point when they're going to talk about something that actually makes sense so don't run them away when they talk stuff like that because there will come a time when they want to talk to you about something serious and if you keep running them or tell them no don't talk to me about that because that's rubbish they won't talk to you when something actually happens that's serious so true i am learning from you nakeli i am learning so much from you now you know um you know, I always say, I always say this, I always say, God, um, you know, I am a young mother, you know, and I'm still learning to mother better, be a better mom, you know. I always give encouragement, but it does not hurt um, to actually listen to somebody encourage me also because your um, learning never stops, basically. So listening to somebody else or what someone else has to say is very important. And I pray that I will remember even when my child or my kids in the event where I get more than one try to speak to me even when it sounds like it makes no sense. As you say, I'll listen that mean when they're actually coming with something that's important, I'll listen even more. You know, I pray that I'll always remember to tell them I love them even when they're being what we call rude or even when they're acting out because saying I love you is important, right? yeah saying i love you is important um so listen to your kids give them the opportunity to speak you know let them say what they want to say you know let them express themselves i believe in freedom of expression even when to you they are being rude it's up to you when they are being rude to say well baby mommy don't like when you speak in this manner it comes off as being disrespectful but don't try to shut them up. Tell them what you don't like. Tell them what comes off as being rude. So they know what they are to say or how they are to behave or what not to say or what is rude or what is not. Because remember, they are kids. And even though some of them are very smart, act like they know it all, they are still learning. So 
just please talk to them please get to understand them and all of that do you want to leave us with any final words kaylee no are you sure? sure so guys at the end of this video i'm going to show you some um posturing or some styles that kaylee have um you teach me them right yeah so my uh, i really didn't get to do because i'm not that fit anymore all right going back to the gym but i learned a few and i'm going to show you guys what you showed me and what i was able to do all right so hope you guys enjoyed this video remember to like share and subscribe kelly tell them your youtube name again please infamous kiki so the infamous kiki um she just start off guys show her some love please i'm going to leave a link to her channel in the description and y'all can go and subscribe you know she has a lot of positive things to teach you guys she's super smart i'm very sure she knows that but i have to say it i'm always amazed when our listeners speak it's like talking to a mini adult your baby but it's like talking to a mini adult and i really like talking to you you know it's always a blessing to be around you you know auntie rachel loves you right mm -hmm. so guys take care remember to stay safe you know remember to tell somebody next to you that you love them remember to be kind to a child you know remember to be kind to your child and if it, even if you're not a mother and a child fine or not a father and a child find confident in you please do not abuse that you know please do not be mean to them please do not tell them anything that will not aid in their better growth or development always remember to show love always remember to show care if you're a stepmother if you're a stepfather listen be a good step be a step up and don't be like the ones in cinderella <laughs> do not be like the step parents in cinderella that's a word on god for you guys take care Look how kids nice.